2022-2001 paper 2. This is AHL question 8. So we have a quadratic. It seems to be a sum of root product of root question. So product of root of a quadratic is C over A. So let me erase that. C over A, C is 2K plus 9 over A. That's the product of root. And so otherwise, find a value of k such that the equation have one positive and one negative real root. Okay, now let's deal with the part where they have to be one positive, one negative. Uh, it will mean the product of root have to be negative because if you have something positive times something negative, the product is negative. So first of all, this should be less than zero. But I'm not sure if we need to deal with the fact that the root have to be real. For the roots to be real, you kind of have to think about the discriminant. So b squared minus 4ac has to be bigger than zero. Because one positive, one negative, so the two roots have to be distinct, have to be different. Determine the values of k. It sounds like it would be some sort of a range. Uh, now let's deal with this side first. If you want to know when is this smaller than zero, you could, uh, you totally could graph it. K plus 9 over K. Uh, but that. We want this to be less than 0, so it seems to be uh, the part under the x axis. So we need to find the uh, uh, x intercept. It's 4.5. So basically, that's when k is between negative 4.5 to 0, right? Because uh, it does have a vertical asymptote at 0, because that's when k being 0. So the question is, does this range of k always produce two different real roots, all right? Does it always make the discriminant bigger than or equal to 0? I guess it's worthwhile to check. Although it's just three marks, it's unlikely that we have to do both. Uh, but I don't. I don't want to look bad on YouTube, right? I'll check. So I'll expand this. So this is four k. So this is minus eight k squared minus. 36k, bigger than 0. So it's minus 7k squared minus 30k plus 9, and I need that to be bigger than 0. Mm, that doesn't look too promising. Let's graph that. Negative uh, 7k, negative 7k. Uh, Square minus thirty k plus nine. Plot it. Uh, oh, indeed. That's exactly. They they kind of fit, because if you find the x-intercept as well, for this to be. Uh, the x intercept is negative 4.567 and 0 0.2815. So for the discriminant to be bigger than 0, you want this upper part. So the discriminant is telling you, you simply need k to be between negative 4.567 and 0 0.2815. And that happens to be inside this range. So uh, 
so turn out it is true that if k is in between zero point uh, a negative four point five and zero, the roots would automatically be real.